My name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here on the Timecraft server emanating from our farmhouse. And man, I am excited to show you everything that has taken place over the last few days, uh, ever since we had last spoken together. And uh, I'm not just talking about the first surprise. The first surprise, Clucky, is still, still here, still thriving. And uh, yeah, also... Boom! First egg, first egg from Clucky. Fantastic stuff. Uh, see good things? See good things from Clucky. But let's head over to the fairgrounds because a lot has happened that I want to show you. And over here at the fairgrounds, quite a few new structures have been put together. First of all, the ticket office is in place. Um, the raffle is ready to go. There's some themes here. I'm really curious about the themes, but it is put in a way that we can't open them. So we can't peek. But um, yeah, raffle tickets. Uh, we got to read the lectern. But yeah, basically the concept is uh, each raffle ticket, I think, is six diamonds. Six diamonds, yes. Okay, so the raffle tickets are six diamonds a piece. And uh, yeah, basically the concept is we take one of these, we rename them, put them on the anvil, and then we drop them into the barrel. So it already looks like Dragon uh, has taken part into the skies, the skies theme. So uh, we will be doing the same at some point, but that's not all. That's not, not all the new stuff. We also have some more construction here in the shops. I believe Tootie is setting up a uh, uh, honey hut, which is going to be pretty cool. And this guy right here, this is a collab of collabs, a uh, little plaza that has been put together. And uh, yeah, there's uh, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool stuff here. I mean, uh, I think there were there were four or five of us that, that had put this together. So I, I laid down the groundwork of the floor and the exterior and then a few others took part in some of the decoration and the actual building of the tent and yeah look at this carve your own mimic uh so mimic from the village oh man it's been so long since we talked to him uh but yeah you can carve you can carve a face that looks pretty sweet that looks pretty sweet uh over here we also have another plaza this one uh i believe uh socks is involved in and yeah, the rumor on the street is there's going to be some kind of firework display uh, to kind of end our celebration night over here. So uh, we also have some seating now for uh, for the actual race so people can sit here and watch the race go by. And that is going to be fantastic. Also, we have some security guards here, which is much needed because we haven't lit this place very well. And this guy is moving around. I have seen him in action. I believe there's three or four of them around, which is which is great. Uh, it's great to see. We've got this board here. I'm not uh, I'm not certain. Not certain what that is, but that is going to be something. Uh, but yeah, every I mean, generally speaking, this is really shaping up to be. Epic. I mean, I cannot wait to see how this how this all goes. But there's quite a few projects that we still need to work on. Uh, the first, obviously, is we have to move some of our uh, show animals over here. Uh, so we have to buy a booth, and I think we just buy a booth and we just store all of our uh, all of our show uh, our show animals over here, our, our livestock. Uh, so we, we definitely want to move Clucky over here. We've got uh, some ideas for uh, for our llamas. And then, uh, and then there's a cow. There's a cow idea I've got. With the construction of this plaza over here, it does open up an opportunity. We've got a lot of open room over here. So I'm thinking what I'd like to do is put some kind of community garden. So like just a little hangout area where people can sit down and enjoy you know maybe it's additional seating so that uh we can see the track while we're sitting there uh but like a nice nice little garden nice little garden area i think it'd be cool um and then obviously we also need to finish the walls of the uh, of the track so i'm thinking of stripping all of this oak down maybe lining uh, lining the walls with some fencing, putting up lanterns to make sure everything's lit. We obviously have to light down here. Uh, but yeah, there is there is a ton to do. 
And then obviously the big thing that we need to finish is this, the little entryway. So I was originally thinking about doing some kind of wall, but uh, I don't know. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult to put a wall in considering that guy right there is built right into this hill. Chloe's got a thing that's built right into the hill. So we can't really wall off the hill. I mean, that's, that would just be awkward. That would be awkward. So we might just light up this area in hopes that nothing spawns. But we'll also, we need to do this front gate, so actually having the fairground sign. So, um, I mean, there's just a ton to do. So let's get into build mode. And there it is, the fair. <laughs> I'm digging it. Uh, it's the, the letters are big, right? Um, so it'd be really difficult to get fairgrounds unless we did banners, but I didn't want to go through the trouble. So we just have this going, and I, I'm really, really enjoying the size. Uh, back here, we might do something. I don't know. I mean, I, I like showing like the frame of it, but uh, it just feels kind of empty. So we, we might we might do something there. But hey, we've got two new shops going. So we've got uh, golden carrots, fried chicken, and baked cod. And then over here, we've got item frames, paintings, and uh, campfires. There we go. That's the that's the word. So yeah, overall, feeling really good about that. Tootie's been making progress on his. Uh, on his honey hut. And then, um, yeah, what else? What else did we do? Oh, yeah. Over here, we wrapped up the overall build of, uh, of this. And I think it's looking pretty good. Again, it's kind of trying to mimic the uh, like the design that, that is flowing through this area. Uh, but we kept the oak just because it was already there. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't really want to change anything. So... Um, yeah, this is feeling, this is feeling really, really nice. The, there's only two other areas that we, we wanted to work on. And one was here, uh, some kind of garden or something. However, um, we, we've got, we've got a bit of an issue. See, because the, the other issue that we wanted to work on was also lighting up the area, prettying up the roads and all that. Um, but word on the street is some more builds are going to be coming. And I know we're only we're only a few days away from the fair. But um, at the same time, we kind of have to wait. We kind of have to wait to see what else is uh, coming before we can fill in the gaps. And so while we wait for uh, the rest of the town to build, um, we're just slowly moving horses over one at a time, <laughs> which is okay. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, we need to, we need to clear up, clear out the track, uh, so that when we are ready to start racing, uh, these guys are easily accessible and the, the horse riders can, uh, can check out, uh, check out the horses in the stables and see uh, which one they would like. All right, so we can put up our leftover saddles as well as our leads, and yeah, I think this this feels nice. By the way, I don't think we ever really showed this off, but this is what this is what our upstairs looks like in our our bit of a loft. So yeah, again, like a nice little place that we can we can store hay, 
And then I've also got this little back room. Um, it's really for some horse armor and really, I mean, just storage. Uh, we've also got a bed here if we need to quickly hide in here to sleep uh, through the night. Um, but yeah, I think outside of that, there was only there's only one more thing that I think we should do for the fair. At least, at least until everyone else gets done. And that is here at the ticket office. Um, I think there should be more here than just the raffles. There's been something on my mind for quite a bit. And really, it has to do with the city we're in. We have not named this place. We've been here for a few months now. And, you know, no one calls it anything. I mean, we call it home, I suppose. We call it the island. But we should really name the city. So... So yeah, we set up a little voting booth, and if we enter in, got a little book here to kind of explain some things, so let's go ahead. Hello fellow travelers, I'm calling on you to help me choose a name for the city that we call home. The name should represent who we are, what this land means to us, and what its future could hold. To participate, take a page from the barrel on the ground, rename it the name you choose using the anvil provided, and place in the barrel under the anvil. One vote per person. The votes will be tallied at the end of the fair, and an official announcement will be made. The name chosen will help define this period of our history, so choose wisely. Names available, and these these are just names that I have I have placed in. Um, but I'm sure others might have some other ideas, so that's why we're going to let them know a few days before. But we've got King's Landing, you know, after Jesse, Traveler's Rest which, uh, you know, I mean, we were travelers and we're here to rest now. Uh, Bearded Isle, of course, because, uh, you know, everything needs a beard, of course. Uh, Traverse City was another one I threw in there. I'm not, not quite sold on that one yet. So I don't know. Out of these four, which one would you choose? And if there's another name that you have in mind, what, what, what should we name the city? Let me know. So that's it. You take a piece of paper. You rename it on the anvil and you place it in here. And then I've got a, a little like a little hopper underneath here to collect these so that no one could peek. No one could peek. But yeah, actually naming the city would be good. And actually having, uh, you know, city name fair. I think I think that'd be pleasant. So that's what we have to look forward to. For now, though, we're going to take a break from here and let everyone wrap up what they want to uh, provide for the fair. We're going to go home and uh, get a rest. Maybe do some fishing. That sounds that sounds pleasant. My name is Mighty Beard. It's been a pleasure. And we will play Minecraft together again very soon. Later. Later.